Hi everybody, Lori here for Concord 9th. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you the reveal of the new November 2022 release. I'm going to start with the Boho Butterfly stamp set, the Boho Butterfly dies, and the coordinating stencil pack. So this is the Boho Butterfly dies, and I just die cut all of them to show you what they look like. There's three little baby butterflies, three little medium mama size. There's also a little scalloped, a tiny little scalloped rectangle, and that fits perfectly three smaller sentiments in the Boho Butterfly stamp set. It's a little mini stamp set, but it packs a punch and it coordinates beautifully with the stencil pack. So in the Boho Butterfly stencil pack, there's two stencils that allow you to build beautiful and detailed butterflies. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is. First of all, there are little reg registration marks on the stencil that fit an A2 size panel perfectly. So a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of white cardstock. I'm adhering this down. I'm gonna to start to blend in with the bottom wings. And I'm starting with Poppy. You can see the ink color to the right of me. I'm using Concord 9th little blender brushes. And I don't know if I've said it before, but the Concord 9th inks do really blend like butter. Okay, so this one here, I'm doing grapefruit. Now you don't have to be so intricate. I'm doing every wing in different colors, but you could, if you wanna make this quick and easy, do the whole row in the same color. Uh, or you can do different colors. You can customize for seasons. Now to the right of the wings that I just blended are the detail. So you just shift that stencil over, line it up, and then you blend. Now I'm just using a shade darker for each one of these. So I did Oceanside on the bottom, Sorbet, and then I believe I did Cranberry on the top. And when you lift this up, you can see that beautiful detail for those wings. Now here's the next stencil, which is the top butterfly wings. Again, I'm doing all different shades. You certainly don't have to go crazy like me and try to fit in as much color as possible, but you can make this as easy or as intricate as you prefer. Okay, so here we have a little buttercup, and then now I'm doing a little bit of spr sprout. I was gonna say Sprite, sprout ink. Okay, so lift that up. I'm gonna just shift that stencil to the left and then add the detail. It lines up effortlessly. And again, I'm doing a shade darker. So I have a little honeysuckle on top of that ballet slipper. And then for the, med the middle one, I'm doing marmalade. And that's on top of the buttercup. Okay, and I, if you don't notice, I am going a little heavier handed towards the center. And I fade it out. Because gradient love is where it's at. Okay, so there you have that final little butterfly. And to me, this is just, just a delight. And look at the results. Okay, now if you wanna, which you probably should, add the center. I'm sure there's a there's a term for that. The body, the center of the butterfly. I don't know what it's called. Maybe I should look that up. Anyway, I'm doing that with a little um, mushroom, kind of a dark gray ink by Concord Ninth. Very, don't need much, little bit. Now, there are coordinating dies that cut out the stenciled butterfly. So the, there's three larger dies in the die set, they cut out the stenciled butterflies perfectly. Here's a couple of projects that I've created featuring the Boho Butterfly products. So I took those three stenciled butterflies that I die cut, I popped them up on a panel of peacock cardstock. You can see that the sentiments have a beautiful curvature to them. I embossed those in white. For card number two, I used the detailed butterfly dies and that thanks so much stamp set. I just stamped it in black and I took the detailed butterflies and then I took the little mini baby butterflies and I die cut those out of vellum and I just kind of framed the sentiment. And that concludes the reveal for the Boho Butterfly stamp set, dies, and stencil pack. Hi everybody, Lori here for Concord 9th. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you the reveal of the new Bunch of Blossoms stamp set along with the Bunch of Blossoms die set. And this is a beautiful, large, chock full 
of a lot of different dyes that you can mix and match. There's also some sentiment little strip dyes. The set, the stamp set is a smaller one, but several of those sentiments fit perfectly within the dyes in the bunch of Blossoms die set. I die cut everything to show you. Again, you can mix and match and create endless possibilities and variations depending on the color combinations you choose. Uh, here's just some that I put together. I'm sure Concord 9th has inspiration and guides too if you want to know exactly you know what layers work well together but i really don't think there's any rules whatever you whatever you think looks good you can make it look good and uh, i embossed the sentiments in white on those little sentiment strips to show you how perfectly they fit so here's how i just kind of layered this bloom together and then you could fit some of them on the inside what are those called like stamen or little pokey things that are inside the blooms. And like I said, if you want to make it Christmassy, make it red and green, you can make it summery, you can customize it for the fall. Endless possibilities for bloom making. Now here's a couple of cards that I've created featuring the bunch of blossoms, dye and stamp set. I create a little cluster of three different shades. I use a lot of different Concord Night cardstock. I emboss the sentiment in white on a strip of black. I popped up the white panel on a card base out of mushroom. And then for card number two, I created that little oval frame from the Friendly Florals die set in a previous release, but it just gave it a very simple frame for those blooms right in the center. And I embossed a sentiment, sending you love on a piece of mushroom little sentiment strip and that concludes the reveal for the bunch of blossoms stamp and die set hello and welcome to the reveal of the brand new kaleidoscope turnabout stamp set and the kaleidoscope dies this is another new turnabout if you know concord ninth you know how innovative they are to create these fun and really mesmerizing turnabout stamp set. So this is another variation that creates kind of a kaleidoscope design. And I, I die cut a few to show you the different variations. So first of all, here's the kaleidoscope stamped in one color. And here's the kaleidoscope stamped in two different colors, poppy and ballet slipper. And then here's the kaleidoscope stamped in four different color. So you can see the different looks that you can achieve depending on how many different colors you choose to stamp it in. Now, as far as the kaleidoscope dies, this large one cuts out that entire kaleidoscope image. And then there's th uh, three smaller solid circles that you can layer. Uh, the two smallest circles coordinate perfectly with the sentiments in the kaleidoscope turnabout stamp set. You've got a thank you and a solid hello there which I love the font on that, just clean and simple. There's also a large scripty hey word die. I just love that. That's great for any occasion. You can pair it with this little strip that says there. So you got a hey and you got a there. Layer them together and you got hey there. And then there's four little, oh, they're kind of like little blooms, little accents, and there's a, two different sizes of hearts. Just little details that you can add to your card. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to stamp this kaleidoscope turnabout. I already have a, a panel of white cardstock mounted on my all-in-one turnabout jig, which is a sticky little mat that holds your cardstock and it's got numbers in the corners. So you got one, two, three, four, and you just rotate your cardstock each time. So I stamped that kaleidoscope with honeysuckle. I cleaned off the stamp, rotate the jig so that two is in the top right corner. Now I'm gonna stamp it with Sprout. And this turnabout jig works with all of the turnabouts, I believe. I believe it does. Okay, and it's got little um, registration marks on the jig to show exactly where to place your cardstock and all that jazz. So each time I clean because I'm doing four different colors, I rotate the jig, I'm gonna stamp it this time with Aqua Sky. And this is so simple and easy. And let me tell you, the more you stamp it, the better the stamp stamps. It gets seasoned. Because a lot of times when you're starting off with new, you got to stamp it twice. Stamp it twice to make it nice. But I've been stamping this puppy so much that all I need is to stamp it once. And it just works like a charm. The Concord Ninth Ink Stamp Like Butter. 
The last shade I'm using is Stardust, and that's going to round out the kaleidoscope design. I'll lift this up to show you the magic. It's really, it makes you giddy, like how it fits together. I don't know how they do it. They have magical powers over there at Concord Night. Okay, here's a couple of projects that I've created using these kaleidoscope turnabout products. I stamped some green shades on sprout panel. I die cut a circle opening. I stamped that thank you from the kaleidoscope stamp set. And then I die cut little tiny hearts in rainbow colors for some fun. Now here's one, it's kind of giving me Christmas vibes. If you want to send a hey there Christmas card. I used a, a circle of vellum behind the hay and the there I added some clear sequins for a little maybe possibly holiday shimmer. And that is the reveal for the Kaleidoscope Turnabout stamp set and dies. Hello and welcome to the reveal of the new Threads of Kindness stamp set, the Threads of Kindness dies, and the Threads of Kindness stencil pack. This is a beautiful collection that allows you to create a lot of different looks. You can do a little stitching if you're a stitching on cards lover. There's some stencil work if you like to blend it and then there's some stamps so um, now for the dies there's a lot of different things now like I said before you can stencil your design if you want to just have it plain like that it's beautiful there are four stencils in the stencil pack and here is the outer die that allows you to die cut that once you stencil it now if you choose to do so after you stencil it you can die cut it with the holes that allow you to add stitching if you want to do that. Now I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to add a few stitches. Now I'm by no means a stitching expert, but I have done a little bit here and there. I have some kind of, well, the colors I used for the blooms are sorbet and grapefruit. So I chose some thread that kind of coordinates. It's a bit corally, orangey, and um, I just simply do a simple back stitch. Is that even what you call it? I don't know the the sewing terms, but I believe that's called a back stitch. You just come up through the back, you go down, you come back up through the back, and then you work it back. That make no sense at all. But anywho, you can do all the blooms with the coral, and then you can choose a different color for the leaves, depending on what color you stenciled your leaves. So here's one that's all stitched. It's completely finished. It's beautiful. And so it gives you two different looks. You want to keep it plain, just the stenciling, or you want to add the stitching. You've got options to do so. Now included in the Threads of Kindness die set is this little panel strip that's perfect for a sentiment, sized perfectly to fit in the center of your little floral design. And I stamped a great, grateful I use Stardust ink on a Stardust little strip and all the sentiments in the Threads of Kindness stamp set fit perfectly in that little sentiment strip. There's also a little thanks die and that also fits perfectly on that little sentiment strip and see how it fits like it was meant to be right inside that floral kind of frame thingamajiggy. I just love how this looks. I want to say it's giving me Scandinavian vibes. Okay, so there's four stencils in the Threads of Kindness stamp set. It comes together easy peasy. Here's a card that I finished, and I love the different looks you can get depending on the colors you use. Here I have Buttercup, Stardust for the blooms, and Dove and Midnight for the leaves onto a Stardust card base. And the combination is tickling my fancy. And now for card number two, I did something a little different. I used just the stamp set. The Threads of Kindness stamp set is also a layering one. So you get the two different shades on the little tulip and then on the leaves. And then a very clean and simple sentiment here for you. And that concludes the reveal of the Threads of Kindness stamp, die, and stencil pack. Hello and welcome to the reveal of the new Whimsical Wings collection. And this is a beautiful collection that allows you to create intricate and detailed butterflies. So you have the Whimsical Wings stamp set and you have the Whimsical Wings dies. I'm going to show you how you can put those together in a variety of ways to get a lot of different looks. There's also a Whimsical Wings stencil pack and it actually includes... 
I believe, six stencils. And that is a lot. And it creates the most glorious panel. Here I've stenciled this one to show you. I mean, it's drop dead gorgeous. Now the Whimsical Wings allows you to stencil an entire panel or you can stencil just an outer panel so that you can stamp the butterfly in the center. So that's what I did here. I stamped the butterfly and then I stenciled the outer floral details. So you can get two different looks with this stencil pack and the stamp set. Now for the Whimsical Wings dies, I'll show you how those come together. Now this butterfly here was stamped using the stamp set and then I took the coordinating dies and die cut them and adhered that butterfly together. Now here's the butterfly put together with the detail dies. You can see how it kind of embosses that faux stitching detail on there. And then there's two different bodies of a butterfly that are kind of angled. If you want to just do the profile of a butterfly, just the side. Uh, there's also a curved sentiment strip that coordinates perfectly with a couple of those curved sentiments in the Whimsical Wings stamp set. I stamped those to show you how perfectly they fit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can stamp the butterfly. All the details, how it comes together, how intricate and beautiful it is. It's definitely customizable depending on what colors you choose to stamp it with. I'm gonna start with the top wings with Aqua Sky. And I'm using my Misty here. I have a panel of white cardstock. And you know, this is a large solid stamp. So I did prep it. I rubbed everything down with a, um, an adhesive eraser, cleaned it really good to make sure I got a good solid impression. Now I stamped the bottom wings with Oceanside ink. And then I have the little detail wings. I'm stamping that in Peacock which is a shade darker than that ocean side. You can make this as intricate and detailed or as simple as you wanna go. I'm using a little mushroom for that body of the, that's probably not the right term. Is it called the body of a butterfly? I don't know, the center. Okay, now here's the detail. You don't have to add it, but you can if you want. It almost gives you like a print look to it. I added honeysuckle to those little hearts and now here's a little stardust for uh, the bloom. So there's all these stamps in the stamp set that coordinate with the inner images within the butterfly. And you can add those with various shades of color. I'm using all Concord Ninth inks, of course. Uh, for the leaves, I'm using parsley. I'll do that on the bottom wings and as well on the top, I'm using parsley again for those top leaves within the butterfly. And then for the little blooms, I'm using honeysuckle again, kind of tying that in with those little hearts on the bottom. So this is pretty colorful. Would you say it's Scandinavian feel? I don't know something about it. It's beautiful. There you have the finished product. And that is just simply using the Whimsical Wings stamp set. There's also a set of enamel shapes, whimsical enamel shapes. They are sold separately in the Concord Ninth website. If you wanna add a little detail, the, the little shapes fit perfectly within the butterfly and um, stencil details. So here's the dies, showing you how this all comes together. If you choose, you just wanna die cut the butterfly and not stamp it, not stencil it. You can create a beautiful design simply with the die cuts. So you can add a little detail to the bottom of the wings. It kind of just slides under. I did that out of mushroom. And I have aqua sky and oceanside or peacock. I can't remember the colors. Now for the little detail, there's extra little bloom dies that I die cut out of that little faux stitching that does that when you run it through the die cutting machine, it gives you that little faux stitching detail. And then I took the coordinating bloom dies and die cut that out. So this is how this comes together. Quick and easy, fits it. I glued this all together so I can lift it up and show you. Look at that incredible faux stitching detail. No stamping, no stenciling. Here's two cards that I put together. This first one uses that entire six stencils from the stencil pack. And I'm telling you, she's a showstopper. I stamped it with that thanks so much from the Boho Butterfly stamp set. And then this card, I used all three. I used the stencil pack, I used the stamp set, and I used the Whimsical Wings dies. I also embossed a sentiment in white 
onto that curved sentiment strip out of clover cardstock. And that concludes the introduction to the Whimsical Wings collection.